Hello folks, friends, family, Blessed Beltane here. I'll show you from the start of my rituals on Thursday afternoon, evening, Beltane Eve, until now, after having just held a virtual circle with some loved ones and sisters, what those rituals look like for me for this particular Sabbath. My celebrations really began, th began Thursday afternoon with these morning glory muffins a recipe i curated on my own on this rainy afternoon i'll be sharing that recipe with you in a few months in a book that i'm co-creating with a friend a sister and they're better suited for mabin but i felt called to create my own recipe and the flavors are autumnal but it was especially nice to enjoy them on this particular day and the creativity definitely flows through for me a good bit during Beltane, more so in the summer months, more so than the cooler months. So I topped them with walnuts, as you can see, and shared them with family. And this day was really spent cooking <laughs> because I ended up creating a rather subtle and modest Beltane feast Thursday evening. One recipe I can definitely share with you is this Blue Lotus Lemonade. Blue Lotus is mildly hallucinogenic if taken in certain dosages, but in smaller doses, it just enhances your dreams and allows for a deeper sleep. I found I got mine from Anima Mundi Herbals. I'll link it in the description. And I felt called to make a more summery drink. It would also be lovely on Lita or the summer solstice. And it was a blue lotus lemonade. So I steeped my blue lotus flowers, dried for about 20 minutes in hot water. I made two batches, one without the blue lotus because my brother is still on his way to learning to love and work with plants. So half was just three lemons, honey and coconut sugar the other half had the blue lotus in it and i ended up peeling the lemons and using the peels to become dried in the oven i just put it to the lowest temperature and dried them and the lemony scent was really purifying for the kitchen before a nice meal and the tea and the lemonade both turned out beautifully i would definitely recommend this i'll put the recipe in the description Mail was mainly based around sake, which is a Mediterranean basan or chickpea flour bread of sorts. And I added some Indian spices, mustard, cumin, and some olive oil. And this recipe I got from Tara of the Medicine Circle. I'll put her Patreon in the description box. She's leveling up my cooking in recent months. I added in a sort of bitter and sweet salad with blueberries, mint, cucumber, and arugula. This was the almost final product. I ended up brushing it over with olive oil and popping it in for a few more minutes. And yesterday, I didn't film it, but I did go on a bike ride, which was really lovely and green and full of pollen. <laughs> but today I built my day around a ritual with some dear family members and sisters. And I found that I celebrate Sabbaths really well when I show up for myself and then others so in preparation for ceremony today i did some journaling ample movement and dance i sat with cacao and i called upon my ancestors and the lessons i gathered in ireland last fall to hone in and open myself up as a channel for the divine the spirits walking these beltane days with us to shine through as we move through some rituals this cacao was carried in this beautiful, easy to breathe vessel. I recently acquired this and I adore it. One of our rituals involved writing our intentions and devotions to the season and what we're sort of birthing and allowing to bloom on a piece of paper and then folding it up, cutting it up into a flower of some sort. So that's now resting on my windowsill under the lovely sunbeams that are still shining through now. I typically fast before holding space, especially before guiding a movement practice as I did today. So afterwards, I cooked up some tempeh in a honey ghee, put it on sourdough, and enjoyed it with a spinach dip. 
All in all, this bell team has shown me how connection truly transcends boundaries and how the earth can reach us no matter where we are. I hope you found the time to get outside, open a window, move your body, and tap into those essences in one way or another. I'm sending you so much love. I'll write out these rituals, the ones we moved through, in more thorough detail, and link them in the description box as well. Blessed Beltane, blessed be, sending you lots and lots of love.